Hey everybody. Today we have an interesting topic. Uh, it's a topic that uh, is kind of cool to me because I have started doing it. And that is playing with the extension on your playing cue 100% of the time. So uh, full disclosure, I am late to the game on this because uh, I'm a moron and I just don't take notice of things that are happening around the pool world sometimes. And I guess Earl and, and guys like Shane Van Boning and, and other people, they've been doing this for quite some time. They've added that extension on the back of their cue and it's affected their stroke. So what this video is going to be is basically, uh, I'm going to talk about the physics of what's going on here. We're going to look at some videos that were shot on YouTube and we're going to just dissect some of the things that Earl Strickland says and what Shane Van Boning says. And then I'm gonna talk about my experience and what I've been experiencing uh, playing with the extension on the pool cue. Let's do this. Is that you, bud? Hey, bud. So a little bit of background information on how I started playing with the extension on my pool cue. It's not because uh, I took notice of other people doing it, which is, uh, I don't know how I never noticed that uh, some pros were doing it because I would have tried it sooner. But what happened was I used to have this extension right here, right? And it's a, it's so big that it's sometimes, it's, it's hard to get in certain cases, right? And what you do is you just put this on the back of your cue, you tighten it up. If you need a little bit extra, you can actually turn it and extend it that way too. So it's, I mean, it served its purpose, but I never ever thought of actually playing full time with something like this on my cue. Ended up getting the J Flowers Dante 2. And when I got that cue, I ended up getting the J Flowers extension, right? So what ended up happening is I was playing and you know, I had a shot where I had to, uh, I had a bit of a reach, so I go, uh, I put it on my cue, I bend over, I do my shot, and I'm lazy, right? So I didn't want to walk all the way over and, and take it off. So what I do is like, well, I just have a few more balls to go. So I just left it on there. And I found something out right away after doing it was I shot and my stroke felt different. Well, of course it's gonna feel different, right? I've totally changed the pivot point of my cue and the weight of this cue. But I didn't necessarily dislike what I was, it was just different, right? And I didn't think too much on it, right? And then I eventually said, you know, I'm just gonna shoot a whole rack with it. And it was interesting, that's all I can say. It's totally different and I'm in a part of my life now, everyone knows that's watching my videos, is I'm experimenting. I, I shoot with a, a carbon fiber shaft now with the J Flowers, never did. You know, well over two decades, I shot with a Hubler standard shaft. I'm experimenting with tips. I've got the Town Fusion on there now. And now I'm starting to experiment with the extension and it's fun, it's different, okay? I ended up finding a few videos though on YouTube and found out that Earl Strickland is the mad genius behind this, right? So I wanna go to that video and I just wanna show you a few cutouts, few interesting tidbits that he drops on the interviewer here. And then I'm going to go to Shane Van Boning because Carl Boys did a video and he gets him to throw the extension on his cue and he asks him a question on the extension and playing with the extension full time. So let's go to the first video, Earl Strickland. Well, I never knew I'd have to make it longer to, to keep my game in check. Right. I certainly can't play with a 58 inch cue anymore. So it's, uh, you know, there's no going back. Most people, once they get used to it, if you're six foot tall or more, 5'11", you know, 5'11", 5'10", six foot or taller, uh, those are the guys that are gonna play with the longer cues. The short guys can't hardly do it. because There's yeah. too much cue sticking out in mine. There's some shots it makes easier. Yeah. Being bigger. Some shots you never would have thought that it would make easier, it does. 
Is it, uh, when you have to like dig into the ball real deep, is it some of the? I don't know. It's the rolling the ball is easier, I think, because you got uh, more weight on the cue. That makes sense. You know, the cue's heavier. I can make it like 70 inches almost right now, and I can make it 65. Yeah. And I'm playing at 65 right That's now, the and I'm, I length. feel good with the. Uh, I will say that I think the extension uh, complements the carbon shaft. Yeah. Yeah. Because when I played with the carbon shaft at 58 inches, I was struggling more. And then when I put on a about an eight inch extension and went to 65, yeah. And the cue got heavier, then everything calmed down and it complemented the shaft, and I was able to play better. You know, no one knew to make the cue long before I started tinkering with it, and then now a lot of people are playing with it like that. Especially uh, if they're taller. The extension in your queue, put that put that together. Let's see how high it is. Do you know the length of the queue? Yeah. So what length is that queue? Probably about twenty one. Twenty one? Twenty one ounces. Uh what uh, the length. Oh the length. Yeah. Um, what that gotta be I believe it's 62. Stand it up. Yeah. Now, why do you use the extension? For what reason? Oh, because of oil. Because of oil? But more power? or? Yeah, I can just feel the shot better, you know, as far as the performance. Okay. You know, um, it just feels like that you can put more spin on the ball. Right. Now, quickly, I want to just go over the science of what is going on here when you're adding an extension to your pool cue. So, Let's talk about the length of a pool cue to begin with. So generally it's in around 58 inches with the bumper on mine is 58 and a half, right? So that's, you know, 58, 59 inches. That's generally what a cue is usually at. And the extension of my J flowers extension here is a six inch extension with the bumper six and a quarter, right? So, Basic stuff here is every pool cue has a pivot point, right? A center, a balance point, whatever you want to call it, right? Mine is basically about an inch and a half above the wrap, okay? That's the way I envision it, right? And what we do is, you know, we have our pre-shot routine, we visualize our shot, we go down. Of course, we're not holding the cue at the center point, right? No one strokes a cue like that. So you have your hand on the cue at a comfortable position to execute whatever shot you're executing, right? That may change depending on where you are, what kind of shot, whether you're off the rail, you ha may have to choke up, whatever, okay? That's not what this video is about. But basically, we never have our hand past that pivot point, right? So, we add the extension to our pool cue. So what is that actually doing? Well, first and foremost, the pivot point, the center point, is not an inch, an inch and a half above my wrap anymore, right? If I take my fingers and I take them down to that area right there, basically now it's an inch and a half in from the top of my wrap, right? So basically the pivot points moved three inches, right? So that makes a difference. The cue feels different now because that pivot point has changed, right? It's longer, see? Obviously, it's up to my ear now. <clears throat> the total length is 64 and a half, okay? Basically half inch off of what uh, Earl Strickland plays with. You're gonna see that in a bit, okay? The biggest change, however, is of course the weight, right? This was a 19 ounce cue, and now I don't know how heavy the butt is, but this cue, I refer to it now as a train, right? I'm gonna call it a train because it really does feel that much heavier. When you bend down into your stroke, you can tell that the weight is there. And it's not anything crazy where, okay, I've added all this weight on the back, so now, the front of my cue wants to go up like that. It's not like that. But you can really feel it as you're feathering. And because you feel that, the biggest thing that occurs is that your stroke, 
your feather slowed down, okay? That's what happens. So now you've got this runaway train here where you really have to commit to the shot because when you finally do execute that shot, there's no stopping the runaway train. <laughs> you can stand on the tracks. Who's gonna win that battle? The train. The train's gonna get you. So anyways, that's the biggest thing that's happening by adding the extension to the cue. You've changed the pivot point, but you also changed the weight. And by changing the weight, some interesting things happen for me when I shoot with the extension on. So that was really interesting what those guys had to say about playing with the extension, especially what Earl has to say. There's, there's some things there that, you know, we could debate, we could analyze a lot on. But, you know, I not too long ago had put out a short with me running a rack with my extension and afterwards I put it on the table and I roll it forward. And I got comments from people absolutely saying, yeah, I've been doing it myself and it's made a difference, right? So it's really interesting. I've also talked to other people like Andrew at Jaworski Pool Practice. Yeah, I tried it, not for me, right? And he's not the only one. I've talked to a few other people as well and it's not for them. It's interesting that Earl said that about the height, right? If you're, you know, 5'11", six feet and above, you know, it's hard for you to go back once you start getting used to this, right? It's the bigger players because it, it may be a myth that it's the smaller players that would like to play with this 100% of the time, right? Because Earl says it's just too much cue, right? You, you've got too much cue sticking out of the back. So that's interesting, right? A lot of the people that talk about having an extension on their cue, they think it's just for the reach. I'm telling you, no, it's not about the reach. And Earl talked about rolling balls, right? It's easier to make certain shots, right? Because of a rolling. I call it, in my mind, floating, floating shots. So if, I, if, I, if I've got a shot and I visualize the weight, right? And I visualize that I need to come, let's say two rails and float it to a spot. Having this extension on there is kind of like committing, right? It's that runaway train, right? You're not gonna be able to stop it once you go. So just let it, let the cue do the work, right? So it's about floating. Whereas Shane Van Bonen, he's is a little bit different. He actually says he likes, he thinks he can get more spin on the ball. I don't, that's not for me, right? Um, actually, one of the hardest parts of switching to this is being able to control it, right? It's not a con. It's not a con, okay? This isn't a bad thing. It's just like anything in pool. You've changed the weight. You've changed how your cue, your tool works. So you have to practice, right? So if I want to juice back for something here and I need pinpoint shape, so now I need to juice back to the halfway mark, I have to hit it differently because there's more weight, right? So I'm still learning how to effectively find the weight that I need. And I, do you see how I've overhit it, right? I wanted to find the halfway mark and I overhit it by eight inches, right? And that's because I've got this runaway train, right? So, you know, obviously every table, every felt is different, right? But this is something that I'm gonna have to kind of zone in, right? You know, adjust. Anyways, where I'm seeing the biggest change is, you know, Earl calls it rolling, I call it floating, right? So let's say I just wanted to do a touch shot, right? And I just, I've got all this extra weight. I'm gonna let the cue do the work. So now when I roll, I'm just gonna roll up. I'm just gonna, it settles my stroke down. Now when I feather, it's slower and then I've, I've floated the cue ball down to that side of the table, right? Um, also, medium weight shots. Medium weight shots where I'll have a shot like, like this and I'm like, okay, 
I'm gonna commit to this shot and I'm gonna come three rails around. And I just hit it with that medium pace, right? I'm gonna let the cue again do the work. So I find my spot, I zone in, and I'm gonna come my three rail shape and I let the cue ball do it. Okay. I only did one rail, but it's that shot. It's that shot where I'm finding the biggest difference is I'm just letting the cue ball and the cue do the work for me, right? Because I've got this extra weight. So I have to get used to that. So I'm going to be doing a video here in the future, something that I've been working on and it's the, you know, one of the most difficult shots in pool is basically when you've got a ball that's not a, a duck and then you've got a cue ball way down here, right? And what makes this shot hard is if you're off just by a little bit, you'll miss, you'll miss the shot, right? So I was going to talk about the two things that I changed fundamentally to make me more consistent with that shot. That's the idea of that video and it's going to come out eventually, but I'm going to have to change that to three things that I've changed because this added weight here makes a difference, right? What has the added weight done is when I bend down, I've talked to is it slowed down my stroke and now I just have to commit to it. The other two things, you're gonna to have to wait for the video. <laughs> but anyways, that's the biggest thing, right? There are gonna be people that are detractors to this or they're not gonna like it. And I'll tell you what the only con across the board is, is uh, for example, my basement here. I used to have a four and a half by nine but my family was getting older. My daughter had to move downstairs. We built the basement. So I sold my four and a half by nine and all I could fit in there was a three and a half by seven. I only have one trouble spot right over there, right? Rarely comes into play. And if it does, I've got my short cue. Guess what? This entire wall now is a trouble spot. Okay, so any shot that I have on the rail, I'm like that, right? It's a pain in the ass so you'll find that or I'll find that I have to take this off quickly and I'll, I'll do that shot and then I put it back on but in a pool hall that's set up properly you shouldn't have that problem okay but I'm gonna continue doing this okay this isn't a video of me saying you got to do this you got to do it right I'm not doing that I'm telling you what my experience is and I right now am benefiting from adding that extra weight, slowing it down a little bit, right? You know, it, it's what Earl alluded to. It's like, he's searching for something to be able to compete, right? It's settle himself down. I believe those were the words that he used, right? What's happening is because of the extra weight, you've got a slower feather and you are settling yourself down. Those are good words, okay? That's the biggest change. So if you haven't tried adding an extension to your pool cue yet and, and, and trying to run a rack, try it. You don't have to worry about becoming addicted to it like drugs, right? Like if you try drugs, you're not going to be able to kick it. You know, um, this is a fun game, right? And this is about experimentation. So maybe that was a bad analogy. I don't know. But anyway, um, that is the video. Give it a shot. Light me up in the comments. Uh, let me know how you're doing on the pool table and, uh, and how you feel when you're doing this. When you're adding that extra weight, does it calm you down? In the meantime, and in between time, I'll catch you on the flip side.